cartoon is um 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 uh um um uh yikes <laughs> oink oink <coughs> okay <Yeah>! Nick Tune <laughs> story about beans! Magic beans! Yeah, yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk. That's a new one. Um, yeah, uh, but I bet you haven't heard the real story. <laughs> Besides, you just missed your bus. There goes our chance at a good college. Exactly. Now, say hello to Juanito, the storytelling one! Buenos dias, children. Look into my eyes, and I'll tell you a tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young beatnik named Jack. Crazy. Together with his mother, they ran the hippest, most successful coffee house in all of Storybook Land. Business was great, and they were loaded. Yay! Until one day... A trendy corporate coffee chain had moved in across the street, selling their coffee fast and cheap. Unable to compete, Jack and his mother hit hard times. The man's got us down, son. Heavy. I've thought it over. We'll have to sell the family van. <clears throat> Not bossy. I was born in that van. <laughs> So, Beatnik Jack went out into the world to sell the family van. Soon, Jack found a buyer to whom he explained all his travels. Relax, kid. Shice the McShice to write your service. You don't need money, pal. You need something better than money. What you need is a gimmick. A gimmick? That's right, a gimmick. And I got just the ticket. <laughs> Magic coffee beans. Kazam! So, Jack returned home to show his mother his good fortune. Unfortunately, upon tasting the beans... Mm, maybe I shouldn't have trusted someone named Shasta McShasta. Disillusioned, they threw out the beans and went to bed. That night, something incredible happened. This must be one of those crazy climbing dreams. So Jack climbed out the window and up the beanstalk. He climbed and climbed until he reached a marvelous world in the clouds. Crazy! Suddenly, Jack caught a whiff of the best coffee he'd ever sniffed. He followed the aroma across the land and into the heart of a giant's lair. Uh. <clears throat> Whoa! Ah, uh, now that's a smoking cup of coffee, man. All thanks to my magical cappuccino machine that spews the golden foam. This baby makes great coffee faster than I can drink it. <laughs> Speaking of which, I gotta go to the can, man. Wow, a crazy magic cappuccino machine. There's got to be something I can do with that. What you need is a gimmick. A gimmick. A gimmick. A machine kid. Grab it. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, wait a minute. 
Those beans you sold me tasted like... Sorry, kid, gotta run. I'm late for another flashback. So the thrifty Jack took the magical cappuccino machine and headed for home. Oh. Whoa! Someone's pinched my machine! So Jack ran for his little beatnik life. Soon he made his way back to the beanstalk. But with the giant's large strides, he not only caught up to Jack, but ran past him and off the edge of the cloud. As fate would have it, the giant landed across the street on the corporate coffee chain. What have I done? Whoa! Far out, man. Hey, like, I'm sorry, giant cat, man. I, I wouldn't have taken your magical cappuccino machine, but you see, my mama desperately needed it for her coffee house. You dig? Oh, no way! Your mom owns a coffee house? Hey, you think she let me sell my candles and incense there? I think we could wake out something, daddy -o. So young beatnik Jack, his mother, and the giant went into business together, and they all lived crazy cool ever after. And that is how it really happened. So remember, when things are at their darkest, you can always count on magic beans to solve all your problems. <laughs> was clearly about cooperation. Nope! Beans! Hey! Why aren't you kids in school? Uh-oh! Gotta run! Oh, we wanted to go to school, officer, but the goose lady stopped us. All right, the goose lady. Let's go, punk! Ouch! Ow! <sighs> we could sure use some of those magic beans right about now. Or a good attorney. Oh, yeah, cartoons! I like cartoons. Nickelodeon, the fight for new cartoons! They're wild. It fills you with excitement. This mess. Becky Charles Crimson, you should know better. Now go out and play. Town of 
the future. Metroplex, town of the future. Metroplex, town of the future. Metroplex, town of the future. Metroplex, town. Just build elsewhere. Mm, that'll do. <laughs> Mom! Dad! Come outside! Hurry! Oh, if you two brought in another sick bird. <laughs> uh, Mom? Dad? Oh, yeah. Cartoons, huh? Wacky. Wacky. Wacky, wacky, wacky stuff. Crazy. Wacky, silly things. Why?
by extracting the brain of a chicken and placing it in the body of a wrestler, I have created the perfect crime-fighting hero, Poultry Man! Golly gee willikers and a sack of beans! I wish I could be like Poultry Man. Maybe if my Poultry Man egg-laying machine can win the science fair, I can gain the attention of Daisy May Numburger. Oh my, she really puts the bubble in my gum. She's the pop in my sickle, the ham in my burger. <laughs> and winner of this complete set of encyclopedias of... Thanks a lot, Einstein. Make me smell bad, will you? Oh, don't worry, Ollie. I really liked your chicken van. Holy macaroni! Uh, gee, do you need some help with those books? Mm -hmm. Out of the way, chicken boy. That's my job. Give those back, Bratwurst. Ollie asked first. Oh, really? <laughs> he couldn't carry a newspaper. Come on, Daisy. Oh, Bratwurst, you're such a man. Ah, Bratwurst. He sure was raised wrong. Shucks and corn cobs. How's a little nerd like me supposed to compete with a monster like him? Shazam! Gee willikers and a slice of pie. My creation is nearly finished. All I need now is a brain. use more than 10% of our brains anyway. It lives! And it barks and digs holes? And it piddles. Well, at least he goes on the paper. Yay! Maybe I can train him. Here, boy. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> Good boy. Jump. Good boy. Sit. <laughs> okay, boy. That's Bratwurst. <laughs> Hey, Daisy, you want to see me eat 12 hot dogs in one bite? Not particularly. Okay, here goes. Your days of bullying everyone are over. Says who? Says us. <laughs> You've gone beef happy. Times must I tell you, Quickie Glue is not a toy. <laughs> Look what you've done to my toupee! You're suspended! I never should have created you. You're nothing but trouble and plenty of it. Go on! Get out of here! Scram! Skidoodle! Go find a tree in Brooklyn. Jeepers, nothing went right. I'm still a nerd, only now I'm a suspended nerd. Come on, Daisy. How about one little kiss? Mm. No, Bratwurst. You're mean and you smell like tuna.
the fish. Ooh, what a lummox! Hey, Knockwurst! Why don't you leave her alone? Can't you pick on someone your own? You got a lot of nerve, Triangle Head. Put him down, you overgrown... <gasps> you actually like this nerd? <laughs> you steward giving me a rash. Oh, Ollie, you are so very brave. <laughs> oh. Okay, you twerps. I've had a really bad day. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I was very strong. <laughs> oh, Ollie, would you go to the school dance with little old my? Would I? Yes, I would. Hey, I just answered my own question. <laughs> oh, yeah, cartoons! Coming soon on Oh, Yeah, Cartoons. I come to join up. <laughs> we don't need any help. But I like your looks. Welcome to the gang. Your first job is to keep an eye on this cop, while all of us, for no apparent reason, go into the other room. I can't <laughs> believe it! I can't believe they bought that getup. Master of disguise, kid! I thought you'd snuck in in that box of donuts. Hmm. Never thought of that.